tell you that I I've been good looking this fine I wanna tell you that I I want you by my side The way you move your body The way I feel inside What's up guys? It's Cassidy. Today I'm here with a really freaking cool DIY and I'm super excited about this one because I feel like this is gonna be so useful for so many of you. I have had some old shirts in my closet that I liked but I just didn't wear them as much. So I found this new trend that I can kind of revamp my shirts into and it's this front knot kind of ordeal that we have going on here. Believe it or not, this shirt was just a plain t-shirt and I was able to transform it into this really cute top. It was literally the easiest thing I've done ever. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this front knot style with three different shirts. I hope you guys can do me the favor just to click the like button if you want to see me do more DIY videos and while you're down there clicking the like button just hit the subscribe button as well to keep up with me and just get that stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna stop rambling now and let's just jump right into this really cool fashion DIY. As you guys can see, this is how I styled the shirt, but I wanted to lay everything out nice and flat just to show you guys exactly what my process was. For this shirt, you're not gonna need any scissors unlike the other two. This one's super simple. So all I did was I just unbuttoned the first few buttons on the top of the shirt, and then I went to the bottom of the shirt and kind of tucked in those extra pieces that I don't want hanging out. And then I take the two hanging pieces in the front and I literally just tie those in a very simple knot. And that is as easy as it gets. <laughs> then I went to the top of the shirt and I just tuck in those corner pieces just for a more seamless look. So here's me with the shirt on. It's not an ugly shirt, but I feel like it could just be so much better. So as I did in the flat version of this, I just unbuttoned the first few on the top around my midline area, and then I just tuck the collars in and bring that past my shoulder so I have that off the shoulder look, which I really loved about this top once I switched it over. And then I tuck those pieces in in the back and take those two front ones and just tie them together and there I have it. It's literally that easy. I adjust the sleeves a little bit and make sure everything feels comfortable and movable and that is my DIY. I want to tell you that I I think you're looking this fine I want to tell you that I I want you by my side The way you move your body The way I feel inside So once again we have me wearing the shirt after I DIY'd it but this is the original shirt. It's just a plain t-shirt kind of pattern. What I did was I turned it around to its backside because it does have this little split opening at the top so I kind of just used that as my guideline to cut it. So I flipped the t-shirt around and I just cut my way down straight in the middle of that shirt. So now that I have my opening all set, I'm going to just show you guys exactly what I would do. I tuck those two corner pieces and then I grab the bottom two pieces and I just tie those in a knot as well. And that's exactly what I do when it's on my body. So I just wanted to give you guys a nice little run through on this flat lay. So as I said before, I just tuck that corner piece in so it can be seamless. The only thing that I did different on this top was that I put a little clothespin right in between just to provide a little bit more coverage because my cleavage was hanging out too much for my comfort. <laughs> Top number three is my favorite out of all of them. I love the pattern of this shirt. I love the cut of it. I just feel like everything came out perfect. So for this one, I definitely needed scissors. I cut a straight line down the middle, pretty much identical to what I did with the previous shirt. I tuck those corner pieces in, and then I grab the bottom two corner pieces and just tie those together. Super simple. Cause there's nothing that can stand in the way. You're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. We can make it tonight. 
All right, so that's it for this DIY, you guys. I hope that was easy enough. I found it super easy to transform so many of my shirts. I feel like this whole summer, all I've been wearing is little crop tops with this front knot here. What I want you guys to do, as soon as you finish watching this video, go in your closet, and if you guys find like bigger t-shirts or dressy shirts that you just don't really wear anymore for some reason, try doing this, and I promise you, you'll thank me. <laughs> Let me know how that goes for you guys. If you try this DIY out, please comment it down in the bottom bar, and I want to see what you guys are creating if you did this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know how much it means to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!